All right, guys, welcome back. Today, we're gonna review the new Hazmat Solid. So, Hazmat series, um, pretty staple in my, the medium part of my bag. So I have the original Hazmat here as well. So this one's the Hazmat, which is the hybrid. This one's the solid. Uh, as you can see, I already got some games on it. So it definitely looks a little bit more shinier. It's got a little sheen on it. Um, obviously this one's a little bit shiny from the beginning, but uh, the original out of box, I did find it too dull to be used on the regular, like house shot or anything like that. Maybe unless you have a lot of heavy volume in the house and you really want to get it to, to dig in a little sooner than may maybe that out of box finish is for you. But for me, I do want it to have a couple games on it, get, get some lane shine on it to get a better back end reaction before it just burns out so quick. Um, this is going to replace my Scorpion low flare in, the, in that medium spot in the bag. So I'm trying to always look for benchmark balls in there. And it's been a while, which is great for Hammer to come out with a, with a solid piece because I think the previous solid piece I had in that medium benchmark on before that low flare was the uh, original Stealth. So always good to have a medium benchmark piece. So I'm going to stand where I, I normally stand just to test the waters. Around 27 my feet, 17 at the arrows, see what it does. Okay, so very early in the mid lane. I like it. Um, when we need a benchmark ball, we do want something that reads that mid lane a little sooner. Because we want to know where the lane's starting to help give me that information so that I can move left or right, switch to a pearl to get it further, or you know, if it's not reading up, maybe go into something more aggressive. So really happy with where I'm seeing it front to back right now. Um, I mean, that was just a really good shot. So let me throw another one and then I'm going to actually throw one later. A little bit more right, but let me just throw another good one first. Just to get consistent with it. Thought I got that one a little left, so that's pretty good. Held the line pretty good. Um, it is a lot smoother, so I am playing a little tighter than I normally would. So what I was saying is I'm going to get the ball a little bit further, right? I'm going to stay where I am. Probably aim at like 16 or 15 at the arrows. Just give it a little bit of a steeper angle. See what happens when the ball gets into that friction a little earlier and sooner. See if it's got some energy to come back to the pins, because that would be the one thing I'm worried about is if I get it out a little sooner, will it roll out and not really have anything in the end. No, look fine. Got that one 16, not too, too far out, but I'm gonna test what, one more. I'm gonna throw it a little bit wider, but it came out, came back really, really good. Didn't burn out or anything like that. Took the 10 out really, really well. Everything about this ball so far has been really good. Yeah, I'm gonna move a little left. Keep my eyes in that same spot. That way it just opens up that angle. Just so, like I said, I just wanna experiment what it does when, when I play bigger angles. Keep striking. All right, let's keep chasing left. Get it wide. And there it is. Okay. So there's a little bit of the limits there. So from the beginning till now, I moved the total of six boards already. Uh, my eyes are around that same general around 17. So that, definitely that angle went from more in front of me to more away from me. Um, that was one thing that I was expecting is when, when that'll stop recovering that angle. So that just happened. Let's kind of make a hand position adjustment there. Maybe I can actually get that back with a little bit more rotation. And uh, let's see what it does. Okay, so more rotation obviously gets it that further down lane and then it's gonna recover a lot better. So very versatile of a ball if it's able to do that, which I'm super, super happy with as a benchmark ball. Um, allowed me to kind of hover wherever I, I kind of like. I know it's a house shot, so it is more friendly to me allowing me to play different angles and, and ways, but it, the fact that it's it's not actually burning out when I do make that hand position change, I think that makes a huge difference. And even 
personally, it just gave me a lot of confidence just moving with this ball and getting left and not worrying about those flat pens or seven tens. Just knowing that the ball kind of just does the right thing at the mid lane. I'm moving it out too. Same thing, out that rotation back. See what it does. Now it's getting real steep. That's like my wiki collision area. So not expecting it to come back anyway, but it tried. Uh, let's go back right to where I think it should be playing through a couple of shots. We'll compare with the original hazmat that I have here. And then, uh, yeah, we'll go from there. Move back right, still looks good there. Reads them, read them in exactly where I wanted to. I'm gonna switch right to the original hazmat. Throw the same shot. I'm expecting the original one to go maybe like two feet longer down lane. Um, don't think the shape off the back will vary too too much. So same core layout, very similar. So let's let's just see what it does and see if it's a little too late down lane and it's you know leaving a flat ten or you know not hooking at all. But I'm expecting a very similar line to the pocket just later. That's that's kind of the flat pen I was expecting. Got lucky with the messenger, of course. Um, but I'm gonna move right with it. Uh, now that I'm gonna be in the friction a little bit sooner, I'm expecting it to actually look like it's gonna come off sharper and harder off the spot. Um, so that's probably like a two board adjustment to the right. See what happens. Okay, still trying. So it's still coming in a lot later than my original saw, uh, not the original, sorry, the hazmat solid. So I think I'm gonna keep chasing it right. I think it's just that that much cleaner in the front. It is missing that mid lane where my solid was reading to me in the most perfect way. So keep chasing it right just to get the comparison and then figure out how many boards I am between the two balls. more and more closer to the pocket now. Still a little bit scary with that 10 pin, but I'm a total of five right already. So I think that's that's gonna be pretty close to what I think the difference is right now in terms of uh, right to left. However, I think what I'm more concerned about or how I wanna compare the two balls actually where it is front to back, not really the right to left. Like I said, the same core, layout's very similar. I'm not expecting the core to do anything different. It's just the covers grabbing that lane you know, two feet sooner or something like that, so that it allows me to be five boards left and five boards right, depending which ball you're comparing it with. But looking really good. I'm gonna throw one last one with the hazmat solid. Just cause I love how this ball rolls. All right, let me see if I can throw a messenger on command. Come on. Nothing to hit, but yeah, really big fan of the ball right now. It seems very versatile. Allows me to do whatever I want to do with it. Get comfortable, get confident, get left, get right. I adjust my hand position on it. Thanks for watching, guys.